Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. Dallas County Board of Commissioners Special Call Meeting. Today is Thursday, August 22nd, 2019. We do appreciate your attendance. We'll start out with a roll call. And as you can see, we're all here. Uh, next up, we have the approval agenda. Don't have any changes to the agenda. Do I have a motion? So moved. Motion by Commissioner Gaines, seconded Sorry. by Commissioner Satterfield. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. And the agenda is approved 4 0. Next up, we have the public hearing 2019 millage rate and property tax. First of one hearing. Uh, we're proposing to roll the millage rate back from 8.138 to 8.0. 890. This will be the first rollback since 2004 uh, proposal. So at this time, I will uh, open up this public hearing. Is there anyone here to speak in reference to the 2019 millage rate and property tax? Anyone? Anyone here to speak to the 2019 millage rate? And property tax. Mr. Chairman, I'd just like to thank the board for the effort you're making for the citizens of Dawson County. I think they've done a great job. I thank you. Thank you, sir. Anyone else? Anyone else? Seeing now, I'll close that hearing. Uh, what is the uh, pleasure of the board? Make a motion that we approve the rollback as presented. 8.0890. Okay. 8.0890. Correct, Mr. Speaker? Yes, that's what I thought I did. Say that one more time. 8.0890. I thought it was. If you round it off, it'll be 8.09. So you got to go to four digits, don't you? I think you have to go all the way out of that. All right, so. I have a motion to roll the millage rate back to 8.0890. Do I have a second? <coughs> second? Motion by Commissioner Gaines. The second was by Commissioner Satterfield. Discussion. Do we know exactly how much that's going to be? What do you mean? I'm sorry. What, how much total, dollar amount? total dollar amount that is going to? For the tax loan? Uh-huh. To? That would be $11,257,002. No, I'm sorry. Any other discussion? Thank you, Pete. Hearing none, please vote. And that rollback is approved for a 8.0890. Right, next up, new business. We have Board of Commissioners consideration possible approval of intergovernmental agreement with Edward Water and Sewer Authority concerning disposition of certain real property. If you remember in May, we uh, zoned property down <coughs> on uh, Highway 9, across from the fire station. Uh, and this IGA is how that is to be uh, <coughs> taken care of. It talks about payoff of the uh, 1.3 million plus dollar debt. It talks about the purchase of <coughs> the Sewer tax that we have totaling four hundred and something thousand, four hundred eighty something thousand dollars. It also talks about how any money above and beyond that would be split uh, with the county. Council, do you have anything else to add to that? No, you summarized it very well. So legal's going <coughs> over this. Yes, yeah, you have. Any other information needed? 
Motion. Mr. Chairman, I have a question before. Yeah. Do we need to now put in there that this is located next to a uh, abandoned or I don't know what the word would be, nuclear lab, or would that need to be? It I wouldn't think so. It, needs to, it just makes me feel like it needs to be disclosed. Because <coughs> if I was coming from out of town and found a house in there, I'd want to know two or three miles down the road, if less than that, there used to be a nuclear lab there. When will that happen? When, who will disclose that, I guess is my question. I think that will get disclosed, uh, not through this IGA between the county and the authority, but with the authority as they market the property to a potential developer, and then uh, when the developer uh, develops the property, all of that information will be part of that activity. Through a title search. And yeah, through title search. And in my understanding that that property is tested on a regular basis and it's not showing any kind of... Mm -hmm. Well, I just want it out there. Right. I wouldn't want anybody to purchase there and then right. find out later it needs to be disclosed. So just everybody probably remember that so we remember to, you know, make sure that people are aware of that. Who wrote this agreement? Uh, the initial draft of it came from uh, the authority and it was circulated between our office and the uh, authority lawyer's office. Dana uh, Miles or Mills or however you say his name is that with you? Linda Dunn City. City. The city is Oh, okay, <coughs> yes. okay. Linda okay, Dunn so they don't use them. They don't use them. No, yeah, they Other information needed? Motions. Motion to approve. Motion to approve the IGA by Ms. Fossil. Commissioner Fossil. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Satterfield. Discussion. Hearing none, please vote. The IGA is approved 3 1. That's all the business we have for today. We stand adjourned. Thank you for your attendance.